Hey guys, this is Beauty Delicious Nails here, and today I am going to be doing a tutorial for you on the strawberry and chocolate nails. So I already have this design on my nails, and I'm going to show you on my nail wheel. So to start off with, I used Rimmel Nail Base Coat. It can also be used as a top coat, which is a really good thing. Then I put on some Red Beauty UK nail polish, as you can see. Now I did this before I started filming because it needed time to be fully dry before you start doing the leaves and the chocolate. So now that I have that, I'm going to show you how you do the leaves. So you need some green polish. I chose Beauty UK just normal green and I dropped some of the droplets of the paint into this palette and that makes it super super easy to get it. I also use this dotting tool and it's the thinnest one you can get and it draws really really nicely. Then I just dip it, the tool into the palette and I begin to draw some leaves like this. Now the leaves don't have to be perfect because they're not on real strawberries anyway so it doesn't really matter just as long as they look a little like leaves. So this is my outline and just fill that bit in there and I like to make sure mine are quite pointy because I know most leaves are. So that is what my leaves look like. And to fill them in with the green, I am going to be using another tool. And this is just a little brush tool like this. And it's really good and easy to use. And I also dip this into the green. And I just fill in the little gap. And so it becomes to look a little more like a leaf. And you're aiming for it to be quite flat, not too sticky uppy, but if you want it to be, you can. And you just keep on filling it in. Now, meanwhile, I have put a white polish droplets onto the palette and that has to be let to dry just a little so that it's a stringy sort of look and that's what you're going to use for the white chocolate and that's what makes it look like real chocolate so that is just drying up a little and you can keep checking it with a cocktail stick and I'm going to show you that in a moment and but I have finished my leaf and this is now what my strawberry looks like at the moment and my white is here you probably can't see it because my palette is the same color as it but you just stick your cocktail stick in and just drag it and it should look quite stringy and that's what you want it to be but this one needs a bit more time to dry off so I'm just going to leave that again and now we move on to the little yellow dots and they class is like the seeds on the strawberry so once again I used Beauty UK and this is just like a bright yellow and it's super super cute and I'm going to use the donning tool again and just dip it and just randomly dot the yellow. Now they can be different sizes because of course seeds are, aren't they? And it doesn't matter where you put them. Put a few up here. And then you are halfway through your strawberry nails. So there we go. The seeds have been completed 
and we can move on to the chocolate. So for my chocolate, I am going to be using this Rimmel Deep Brown and it's Ultimate Pro with a super cute wide brush which makes this super, super easy because you just want to take it across in one little swipe. So I'm going to shake it as I do with all of my nail polishes before using them as it mixes the polish together as it may have dried up a little over time and I'm just going to swipe it across. Now you can do this in one simple move or you can do it in a couple just as long as it looks a little like chocolate. And so there we go. We have our strawberry dipped in chocolate. But that looks a little boring and we want to add to it which is where the white nail polish comes in because we are going to add some white chocolate. Now sometimes your polish is not gloopy enough which is perfectly fine. I am just going to drag it across creating this white chocolate texture. And then when you have done this you just need to add a top coat and then your strawberry and chocolate look is complete. So there you have it. Hope you liked this tutorial and please feel free to leave a comment below.